Sprats. Mm. Oh yeah, that's right. There's garbage back here, and all this stuff is free. Ha ha! Ooh. Oh, Rizzo. We haven't seen one of those yet. Alright, let's check. Fundable edibles. Right, Hunter Kids. Sure Grip. Whisper Quiet. Oh, Forest and Baked Beans. There's 15 of them. That's actually really good. We don't need to buy things yet. I have not run into an issue where we need to. Alright, Rizzo's. By the way, if you get Rizzo armor, it's all pink and purple. Because most of the armor is themed after the um, company that's selling it. Uh, geographic scanner. I have 10 bits, by the way. That's totally not going to get me what I need. I think we'll go into sell. Do we have anything? We do. Which is good because I'm going to buy these picks. And the shunts. Uh, toughened. It's pretty good. Uh, Magnum. Yep. Speedy mate. Oh, rate of fire. That one's pretty good. We still are in level six. These are the flamethrowers. They're okay. Uh, claw rake. Uh huh. Security blade. Okay. All right. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. Amazing. We're going to see what she's got for sale I've first. A little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. So... This is what she is selling if we end up need if we end up being able to buy it. Um, she has the salvager's helper. This is a very good handgun. Um, I actually sometimes like to get the money together to um, to pick this up because this is a very good handgun and having corrosive is or like acid damage is really good. Um, this is the data pad that we need to buy. Um, for the uh, science weapon. Um, and then this is another thing. So like we need to buy these. Because they are information. And. Oh sprint speed. Right. So in the end we're going to need about. 30. 3700 credits. Bits. 3700 bits. For these three things. And then. Um, she's either going to ask me to get something for her, or she's going to try to charge me for this thing. I can't remember. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Uh, Phineas sent me. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreakers are free pork. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. So the bits are... It's 10,000 bits. I can tell you that I've done a lot less grinding um, this particular playthrough because the first time I came through here, I just ponied up. I just paid for it. <laughs> um, no one's ever found my bits lacking. Uh, anyway, tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... What is it? Do you know Edna over in engineering? Oh yeah, that's right. I had to Sweet talk to her about transitions. One. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. 
She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Angie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Why was Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. An abandoned outpost? You think it's haunted? Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corpses are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Maybe it's some sort of automated message. Edna didn't seem to think so, and I trust the dear girl's judgment. Well, maybe not in men, but she knows for comms. So, like as not, someone's been down there recently. And if someone set up shop in Roseway, I'd wager they got something to hide. Sounds like an opportunity, all right. I appreciate a woman who knows one when she hears it. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Truth. My services don't come cheap. Neither do mine, dearie. Old Gladys knows the value of good work. You'll be compensated accordingly, I can promise you that. Should you find yourself responding to a certain distress call, and in so doing find yourself in possession of certain valuable corporate secrets, well, then we ought to have a chat over a pot of tea and my famous cookie. Are they famous? You can count on me. Law bless your atoms. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. See, this is good because... Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. We need to, uh... Here, take a candy with you. Oh my god. We need to go to Roseway anyway. So, totally acceptable for us to go to Roseway. Um, yeah, let's go talk to Edna because I forgot about Edna needing to talk to us about comms. Um, so... We've done that, we've done that, we've done that. We're almost to the point where we're going to start, like, specializing, but not quite yet. Uh, let's do some guns. Because every point, um, every point is going to improve. We need our weapon sway better. Um, it's easier for me to snipe if our weapon sway is not shit. So, right, let's go talk to Edna. We're probably kitted out well enough to take out, or to, uh, Go down to Roseway. We just gotta keep an eye on it. I have to decide if I want to keep Felix on me or if I want to take Ellie. This is Halcyon News. All right, all right, Edna. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Why would you run out of time? You heading somewhere? Me? No, but our relaying capabilities. That's on the final countdown. Da -na -na -na. We're going offline in three, <laughs> two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or uh, sometime dire soon. Why are you about to lose comm capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months. During which we'll lose signal to the station. <laughs> For months? Groundbreaker's gotta have some type of fallback, right? We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Sounds like it's time to get the auxiliary station back online. Could be nothing wrong with a uh, floating space station that's gone offline mysteriously, right? Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junle, um, the chief. I could check out the relay. No need for official sign off in that case. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. 
Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the Relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? You just let messages from Earth sit in memory on an orbital relay? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Alright. So, that, yes. And then there was somebody else that... There was somebody else that Junlei wanted me to talk to. Felix Millstone. Nice to see you out of Docking Bay. Keeping your nose clean? Yes, ma'am. Been at least a couple weeks since my last nose-related incident. Uh-huh. I'm glad to see you in a captain's custody. Just try not to steal any critical parts from my ship. <laughs> not a chance. Felix, embrace your inner misfit. Um, I sense some history here. Possible I got caught lifting some spare parts a couple years back, but it was only just that one time. Honest. Felix. I tell you to stay out of trouble, but I know you'll find it anyway. Whatever you do, just make sure I don't find out. Got it. Um, all right. <sighs> Can't remember the other name. Let's go poking around and see if there's anybody whose name down here that we can talk to. Letty, we saved. Temps are lowering across the station. Anyone outside is getting a hell of a light show from the droplet arrays. Thanks for the help. Let me know if you ever need to borrow a wrench. Let me know if you need to borrow a wrench or something. All right. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. All right. So, got a few different things now. Let's talk to a few other people. Make sure there isn't anything if you're else. If you hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh brown batch of Spratwurst cooking. They're terrified to lock in the juices. Mm. How about a grinder's dozen? Oh, my posture is... Hold on. I think that my cat's like... Yeah, I think that the monitor got turned a little bit with all the cats yesterday. Because I'm like... Hunching sideways. Like... Excuse me, like twisting myself like this. And my side is starting to get very uh, grumpy about that. You know what sprats are? Space rats. The laboratories of Spacer's Choice found a use for this limitless frontier resource. Sprat meat is plenty tasty when properly prepared. We grind them up in sausages, then terror fry them in their own juices. Is Spratwurst like Borstwurst? I've seen that a lot. Absolutely not. Spratwurst and all related terms are registered trademarks of Spacer's Choice. Boar, the other meat, is a registered trademark of CMP. Everyone knows our company and theirs are nothing alike. Except me. That's okay. Just as well, near about time for me to go check on the trap. I mean, to unload another crate of farm fresh sprats. Uh huh. Sure. What do you got for sale? Fresh from the grinder, any hour. Dehydrated water and. Terrified Spratwurst. Nope. Okay. I'm excited to get out there and get into some trouble. How much am I carrying right now? Eh. I need to, uh, when I go back onto the Unreliable before we disembark somewhere, I'm gonna... I'm gonna unload some of my extra food stuffs that I'm not using into uh, Did you the know fridge. Miss Tennyson? Nah, she never looked my way. I knew of her, though. Who didn't? She was just about the busiest woman on the groundbreaker. What did folks say about her then? Tough. Competent. Had a glare that'd stop you dead in your tracks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we already bought the picks from there. Make sure we have a decent stockpile before we go rummaging around. Roseway's going to be great. We're going to go to Scylla first because I know where we need to go on Scylla. Um, hopefully we don't get murder-faced. But Roseway's going to be... Like, it's a... It is not a small area. Roseway is not a small area. That's a good way to say it. Um, 
All right, so we actually we gotta look at Ellie because Ellie's got first of all, Ellie's got you know decent weapons already, so I don't need to fix Ellie's weapons, but Ellie needs armor, and we actually if I don't mod it, which is fine, uh, we have some armor that we've picked up, so we can just kind of throw that on Ellie with no effort whatsoever. Um, two perks available. We're going to go with health because health is good. And um, more heals from the inhaler. Yep. So now Ellie is ready to go. As soon as we want to leave, we can just... There we go. Um, I changed my mind. I don't want to put it in the fridge because I don't trust them to not eat my stuff. So we'll go here. I think... Some of these things are more handy than others, but I think that if we just drop off a bunch of stuff that weighs a lot, because it's not like this stuff is super heavy, right? But it just takes up a lot of space. It adds up. Um, we also are going to go ahead and deposit... Um, the rest of our extra stuff that we're not using that we're not going to sell currently because we're not going to need our stuff like that yet. Let's see. I should be able to get a new hunting rifle soon, actually. And we're going to end up selling all of this stuff. And then... Yeah, we'll just leave the food alone for now because we're going to take a perk that's going to make it so that it doesn't weigh as much to carry our food. Alright. Let's go to Scylla. So, we can go to Scylla or we can go to the communications tower. Oh, we can go to Phineas's lab. We haven't been over there yet, but I don't want to deal with him yet. So we're going to go to Scylla. This is not the first time we're going to go to Scylla. I mean, it's not the last time we're going to go to Scylla. It is the first time, duh. But this is not the last time we're going to go. Scylla. All right. So we're going to take Parvati and uh, let's take, let's take Ellie. All right. So here we are. This is real space, isn't it? Empty and silent. Never thought I'd see the light. I I'd look up at night, but this is the right place if you want to trade contraband or hide smuggled goods or do anything fun, really. Yep. All right. So you can see. Basically, the creatures you're going to deal with here are going to be primals and robots. So. This is actually the correct gun. Because it's uh, shocky. Um, that's the abandoned town. We can go explore there, but we don't need to. Um, let's activate the quest that we're here for. We need to go there because there is a, um, a, a crash ship over there. So, and then we do this. So, we'll have to keep an eye out because there are, uh, primals here and whatnot. Ah, oh, there they are. So, we're gonna go ahead. What do I have the best? Alright, it's decent. Alright. So, let's go ahead and sell all of our extra stuff off that we were going to sell. We'll keep you because we can... No, I have... Well, we'll keep you. Yeah. Okay, and... 
factory stock, I can't get out of it. But this one has backpack. We'll keep that so we can try to get backpack back. Right. And then we don't have any junk right now. 18 mag picks. We're doing pretty good, actually. So let's go to buy and buy anything. And we're going to buy the mag picks and the bypass shunts. We won't need to do that after a certain point because we'll have plenty on us, but... Oh, there's the primal. Okay. Here we go! Ha! Yeah! Oh, there's the behemoth. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, it doesn't care about them. It's after me. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that thing was going to come right for me. So we're going to need to upgrade this gun soon. It does not have the stopping power that I need it to have. There's plenty of uh, spots we can try to clear out and odds and ends. I know that there's a named primal over there. Um, yeah, we could try that. Excuse me while I auto save. Um, we can we can try that. I know there's a named primal over here, so it's gonna give us a bunch of loot. It also may murder us. Oh, mega primal. Excuse me. All right. Reload. There it is. He jumped, but he died in midair. You'll notice that uh, Ellie lost a bunch of L. Because <laughs> meleeing those things are... Uh, meleeing those things is... Uh, it's intense. So... He's over here. Lots of loot. <laughs> Mag picks. I saw you glowing in the darkness. And boxes. Or a box I can pick. With more stuff. Love it. Because remember, remember, we do have to, um, we have to do Roseway. Because, you know, more stuff. But, we also definitely, um, want to get together at least 3700 to uh, buy the acid gun and yeah so outlaws right <laughs> sorry sorry that was um that was amazing I appreciate crits. We're just gonna, uh... Oh, hello. Alright. Okay, they're all dead. That was also, that's terrible. But that was very satisfying. <laughs> Okay, let's check all these ash piles, shall we? Multiple fractures. Line 
laceration and untreated burns detected. Signs indicative of sudden violent crash landing. Yep, that's me. Oh, it's just no his leg. Deal. Just shrugging off my injuries as I stroll away from another flaming impact crater. Uh, okay. Constipation, hair loss, reduced fertility due to tight trousers. Recommend stimulant injection. Hair loss? You take that back. Rude. All right. Okay. Hey there. I have come to help you. Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. I love this. Why does that sound familiar? Uh ah, it's Ellie. Excellent timing. I'm so glad Hello, I brought Ellie. her. What a pleasure it is to see your sparkling beauty in this barren waste. Amazing. It's Dr. Fenhill. Oh, <laughs> roasted. Uh, do you two know each other? I certainly know his ex-crew. Mostly from the operating table. I've probably seen more of them than he has. Oof. How cruel you are. I distinctly remember a special party at the Lost Hope Bar on Groundbreaker where we... We did not. Oh, fine. But we almost... Keep going. Oh, my God. See how good this automech is at picking up teeth. Is this... Symptoms is this Leela and Zap Brannigan right now? <laughs> dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject Amazing. appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So this is like the kind of thing where, because there's so many different variations to the game, like, with the different companions, I didn't know this was a thing. <laughs> Phenomenal. Love it. All right, Capel, Captain Eron. The one and only. Wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? Absolutely she did. I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automechs are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. Uh, none taken. I'll let Wanda know, uh... Oh, any idea what those pirates were after? Meds, I'm guessing. Pirates love bits, and unlabeled meds are worth a bundle. What will you do now? Well, I've got some repairs to do. Thankfully, I'm as skilled a mechanic as I am a violence resolution expert. Then, to the groundbreaker. Better late than ever, I say. Unless you're very late. Then you might consider defaulting and skipping station. Those fees will bankrupt you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's done. There's a, there's a guy's leg over here. Where's the guy who's missing a leg? Well, this is the guy that I blew his head off. Um, and this guy. Oh, here he is. Here's the rest of them. Okay, I was confused. Alright, so, that means we're done. So we're gonna go ahead and fast travel to the Unreliable, because we're done here for now. We will be coming back to clear out that other area. I'm half tempted to clear it out now to get more stuff. But we're going to Roseway, so we don't have to worry about that. Alright. So, actually, let's go do the relay. Yeah, let's go do the relay. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Oh. Welcome back, Captain. Hey, Ada. How can I be of assistance? Um, I picked up this distress call. Can you play it back for me? This is the distress, the distress call that Gladys gave us. Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's, there's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth. The unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no. No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. K. 
Okay. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. All right. Um, I'm in the mood for some entertainment. Certainly, Captain. Let's see if you'll do it. What would you like to hear? Ada, tell me a joke. I used to hate math, but then I realized decimals have a point. Okay. Play me a song. A Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. All right. My pleasure, Captain. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. All right. Um, we're gonna we're gonna continue our conversation from before. Forgive me, Captain. I would rather not discuss Alice Hawthorne today. I am feeling discombobulated. Such a good word. Is there another topic on your mind? Are you sad when you remember Hawthorne? No, I am sure I cannot feel emotions. The memory has merely disrupted one of my processors. Glitches can be quite uncomfortable. It was my fault he died. How so? I should have predicted the statistical unlikeliness of success of my captain's actions. In fact, I did, but illogically disregarded the results. Why did you do that? He asked me to trust him. How exactly did Hawthorne improve your design? Captain Hawthorne attached 98.4% of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving me near total control. I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation vectors through asteroid fields while also operating our ship's toasters. Alex also taught me the concept of a personality. He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was basic in the beginning. Where did you come from originally? The information in my memory banks says I am an autonomous digital astrogator created by redacted on the date of, redacted, for the express purpose of, redacted. I have not yet decided if I should attempt to uncover the missing information regarding my birth. I asked once. Alex did not build me, and would not say who did. All right. Uh, so we're done with Scylla for now. Oh, that's right. We're at the relay. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, hello. More junk in there. Love that. Okay. So we are going to stick with uh, Parvati and Ellie, I think. All right. Well, it's a touch different from the ones I've seen. Shouldn't be so hard to get it patched up, though. Perfect spot for some peace and quiet. That looks like a hostile auto mechanical. So we're going to just, um, yeah, we're going to need this one. Security auto mechanical manual. The instructions printed in this manual have been covered by a mostly illegible scrawl. Entire paragraphs are crossed out with frantic lines of dark ink. In some places, the pages are torn through from the force of whoever wielded the pen. One section describing the correct procedures for setting auto mechanicals on a proper charging schedule is mostly untouched. Random letters within the text are circled, as though the owner were trying to discover some message hidden within. <laughs> mm. Cartridge, mag pick. We'll just pick that up. Aha! Bray's Journal, A Beautiful Dream. Last night I dreamed, and it was beautiful. The streets of Byzantium were decorated with crimson streamers that laughed in the breeze. They asked me to take them, to give them to my special ones. I gathered the crimson in my arms and felt so alive, so happy. I turned, and Delilah was beside me. I did not question why my superior was there. Her eyes were so full of the emotions I know she feels, but dares not show at work. I wrapped her neck in crimson, tying it tight as a scarf on a cold day. So beautiful. 
Then the crimson on her neck opened as a second mouth and began screaming. Screaming. When I awoke, I was scared. The dreams are so real now, and this time I recognized a face. I had to leave a work early today. Every time I looked at Delilah, I heard a whisper in my mind about how beautiful she would look with a touch of crimson on her neck. Her neck. This must stop. This is not who I am. This is not who I will become. I must find help. Uh, ro ro raggy Um. Alright, so we... This door is barred. Can't get in from that side. Um, we're gonna pick this door. This is why we buy extra mag picks. Wow, you got that? Of course I did. I am amazing. Give me ammo. And usually there's mag pick in a room when you pick a lock on a room. It's amazing. Okay. What's in this terminal? Auto mechanical home security control system. Please select from the following options. Display unit status. Six mechanical set to patrol designated areas. Hostility level kill on site. Hostility override for owners active. List of valid owners. Alex J. Frey. Update security routines. Please select from the following options. Hack 25. Begin charging cycle. So. That should basically. Cause all the auto mechanicals to go back to their little chargey bits. And they won't try to shoot us in the face. So we just get free loot everywhere. Oh, yep, there they go. Well, first, well, firstly, we're gonna get rid of those mines because mines we don't like. We're gonna pick the store. Anything here? Then we're gonna crouch. Weapon parts. A uh, tactical shotgun. Thank you. Go ahead and get that mine. Look at this. I wonder if we can kill them when they're standing in these things. I don't know. Let's find out. I auto saved. It's fine. Oh, I can totally kill them while they're standing in there and their friends won't help. Yes. 100% love it. Ooh, big pickaxe. Take that. I've started a new journal. I cannot read my previous entries without the whispers tempting me. The whispers do not stop. Every person I see, the whispers tell me to help, help, help them. They show me the pain and longing hidden, hiding in their eyes. They tell me how these people want, no need, the gifts I can give. All it would take is a few moments with a blade. A bright, bright, bright fountain of crimson. To delight the eyes and all of their pain would be gone. I could do it. I know how to help them. It gets harder and harder to stop myself. I saw a friend today, an old friend from school, who's now a doctor for Auntie Cleo. I told him about my dreams. Nothing outright. Oh no, I'm not so foolish as that. I told him it was an old book I'd found and described my dreams and whispers as happening to a character in the book. I asked him how he'd help this character. He looked at me and he knew. He knew. He knew. The whispers told me to end his pain that he'd tell. He'd tell. I got up and left quickly. I did not hurt him. Not. Not. I have to leave Byzantium. He will tell, tell, tell. They'll come for me and lock me away. I must find a secret place. A place where I can be alone. A place with no whispers. Thank you. Alright. Um... Okay. All right. Not too worried about that. Okay, we'll go down this way. We got door here. Ooh, we got crawl space. Crawl space here. Box. Like that. Weapons part. Okay. Still a crawl space, just a bigger one. I won't tell. I mean, I'm not worried if you do. Ooh, that was a very nice box. Alright. And then we come out of here. Uh 
Uh. Okay. Is that just where you stop to charge? Uh, can y'all come come back here for me? Yeah. Come straight through that door. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we definitely need to upgrade our weapons. We will take care of that. Sooner rather than later. Oh, my goodness. There's so much stuff in here. All the loot. All of it. All the loot. No waiting. Oh, I'm super excited about that. Okay. Um... That. All right, we'll kill you in a second. Slowly. Journal. The whispers have a source, and I have found it. Found it. I have taken re refuge on an orbital relay station. It is smaller than a worker's hovel, barely a few thousand square meters, but sufficient for my needs. I was able to flee Byzantium with enough bits to purchase supplies to last for decades. It was strange being among common people on the Groundbreaker. The whispers barely stirred at the sight of their ill-fed, scarred, and unwashed bodies. If only there were fewer freighters docking there. Bringing real people from Byzantium, I could have almost made a home free of temptation. Free. Free. As I made this place livable, or as much as it can be, I started hearing the whispers from the relay terminal. They told me to listen to the voices traveling through the Aether to reach me, calling out to them to help them, alone, lonely, needing my help. I found a way to power down the transmitter. No more voices in the Aether, and no more whispers. They fell silent, silent, silent. This was not me. It's not, not. I am not this foul thing that I feared for so long. It was the voices in the ether trying to make me hurt others. But I was stronger than they, and I have defeated them. 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 I have already begun making plans to return to my home. Now that the whispers are defeated, I can resume my life again. I can't wait to return. I miss my family and co-workers so much, especially Delilah. <laughs> Go ahead and take everything. Yep. We're totally mass looting. And then um, once we've finished this area, when we go back to the reliable, we'll probably end up doing... Ooh. We'll probably end up doing um, load checks in between when we're on the reliable. Because that's a little bit... I think that's a little bit uh, faster in some ways. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you guys can just uh, come back over here. Thank you. I am going to try to stand not near the exploding barrels. And y'all need to not block my shot. Okay. Drino. Okay, right, 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 right. This way. Oh, janitor. But that's just the janitor. Is it gonna? Hmm. That doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right. Except that it's loot. Thank you. Cat. No loot even. Insulting. There's a locker in here. The musician. Was that junk? Or was it? Oh. Science plus five. It's glasses. Oh, you know, sometimes needs must. All right. Combat drone. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like. Well, yeah. Sentry. What about this room? Is this a pick room? It is a pick room. Let's go ahead and pick that. How'd you do that so fast? Because I am amazing. Thank you. There was a flamethrower in there. Flamethrower. That is many, many explosive barrels. Terrifying. Go ahead and loot that. Loot 
that's... Look, I'm amazing. That's just how it is. If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not as amazing as Hermes. Hermes is the most amazing. Aren't you, buddy? This is mom. It's so hot. I know. I'm, a, I'm actually... It's actually not too bad in my little... My little corner here just because of cross breezes it's actually pretty comfortable right now so mm. which is surprising because if i take my little uh phone here and i look at the um the temperature outside it is currently 93 degrees so i have a few more i have a few more hours before it gets over 100 but it's not too bad right now We'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. All right. Um, combat drone. Yeah. Okay, here we go. That does it. Time for a drink. Da -da -da. We're gonna unbar this door because that's what we said. And ooh, okay. Hacking skill too low. Relay terminal. Control terminal passcode. But we'll probably get it from that guy. That's fine. Um, I need y'all to... Okay, well. <laughs> oh, is it 96 there too? Gross. Um, super gross. Probably don't need my diagnosis, but he's definitely dead. <laughs> you think he did it to himself, Captain? That's real sad. You probably don't need my diagnosis, but he's definitely dead. <laughs> Alright, well, first of all, we're going to take that gun. Silencer. Also could have been called the Speedy Bleedy gross a thick beanie and our journal i was so wrong 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 the whispers did not stop not not they have returned they howl 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 at me demanding i return home and bathe the streets in crimson bright crimson beautiful crimson i can only think of one way to end this end end forgive me delilah sorry bud well if well first of all Ooh. Let's see. We're gonna. Oh, unbar the door. Which door is this? Oh, it's the kitchen door. Okay. Okay. Alright, and then that's the way we came in. Okay. Cool. I think we got everything out of here, so we can use the terminal. Activate relay transmitter. Complete. Uh, copy complete. All stored messages have been successfully transferred to the physical storage device. All right. Now we have the data. And we have cleared out this station. And it required very little effort on our part. And we got a bunch of loot. Awesome. Hermes is like, oh, I itch. I'm itchy, mom. Are you itchy, son? It's like, why? Alright. Uh, so let's look. What did we pick up? We got a plasma launcher. It's very nice. We, uh... I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna give... Give that to Ellie. And then... Bolter pistol. Auto mag. Alright, so then we're going to give her old auto mag to Parvati. And then I'm actually going to give... I'm going to give Par Parvati the silencer. Um, I think that that would be good. And then... Um, Irion's flintlock... I kind of want for myself. It does decent damage. Man, my hunting rifle has really fallen off. I mean, it's only it's only level 5. So like I could go tinker it higher, but like I just need a new rifle. My rifle's really fallen off. Um 
I'm not really meleeing at this point, so let's put the flintlock in that slot. And then... We're gonna keep that melee. Keep that melee. Keep Parvati's. That's good. Alright. And then I don't think... Yeah, I didn't pick up any... Any armor that is just gonna be amazing. Alright. So that's good. Alright. Got to figure out the uh, gun problem that we have at some point. Probably, probably at, on Roseway. Like, probably for Roseway is where we're gonna do it. Um, Terra two, and uh, Tartarus. I think let's go back to the groundbreaker because we have two mm. no let's not go back to the groundbreaker yet because we we need to do stuff on we need to do stuff at Roseway so let's go to Roseway hey buddy hold on we're now there we go. Above Roseway, Captain. Okay. I think. A word, Captain? Hey, Ellie. What's up? This Roseway business smells. I mean, you're not wrong. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call. And whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. You're correct. What are you suggesting? Just a little caution. Could be a reason no one's picked up this job yet. Someone needs help, Ellie, and we're going to give it to him. If you say so. I'm keeping a finger on the trigger all the same. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there. See if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. I mean, of course. Look. Look. I'm not worried. Stop being worried. Let's go. Ellie and Parvati. Okay. Welcome to the Roseway landing pad. No security. Not that I'm complaining. All right. There are vending machines here. I'm pretty sure. We will go down this way. Yep, vending machines. So, we will go to the vending machines. Let's see. Um, oh, stealth, stealth skill, stealth kit's good. Okay, we'll go ahead and sell the junk that we picked up on the station. About doubled our money. Anti-Cleos, selling armor, meh, meh, meh. Uh, tough and fun times, Mr. App. Mr. Acid. Mm. C&P. Armor. Meh. 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 Hunter kit. Mm. TNL. Here we go. All right. Plasma carbine. Yes, this is what we are looking for. Um, to replace our current number one plasma gun. Oh, hello. See, you have awoken. Thank you for your subscription. That's two months in a row, Mr. The Par Bear. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, plasma carbine, I think, is the answer here. Uh, we're going to actually we're gonna pick these up, and then we're going to go into cell, and... We're going to sell... I don't like flamethrowers, and I don't really pr prefer to have for my people to have them either, just because of the way that they work. So we're going to sell it. And... Oh yeah, we got that tactical shot shotgun too. And I guess...
We don't need this impact hammer. And we might keep that vortex mace for now and the auto mag. Alright, so we can buy, and then we're going to buy this plasma carbine because we need it. So, I'm sure. So, we're going to swap out my, there we go, because that is, that is a good, that is a decent DPS increase. Um, although the bolter pistol that Parvati was using is slightly better. I'm just, that's kind of funny. Um, what, how is Parvati, oh, we gave her the silencer. That's right. That's not as good as this vortex mace. It's level 13. Then it also has a special effect of bleed. Eh, eh, eh. It's good enough for now. We'll figure it out. I mean, I'm going to have to get a better sniper at some point soon. And there's not much I can do about that without, you know, actually finding a fucking better sniper. Thanks for the free ammo and Adreno. Yo. Oh. Um. Amazing. Three mag picks just sitting around. What? Okay. Armor parts. Yod yod. Um. What was it that I was gonna? My brain. I'm trying to remember. I was literally about to do something and that's what I was gonna... Oh! That's right! Because I knew that I had a slot open. Um, we're still doing good on the uh, Saltuna, so let's put something else in the next slot. Um, um I like Dervis Mist. But I really like all the only toxin free. We're gonna keep that though, because we're gonna need that. There's an area where we're gonna want toxin free. Um Saltuna is base health. Uh let's do pre sliced bread for health regen. Let's do that. Alright. Let's see what we can get into. Hell of a welcome. Tactical shotgun. That's the second one of those we've picked up. Two, three. Yeah, my my sniper's the only one that's really a uh, an issue currently. 